Welcome Jacket fans, I'm Jake Levin. Thanks for joining us on this week of MSUB Sports Corner. We have a special segment for you this week, but before we get to that, let's recap on last week in Yellow Jacket Athletics. First up, MSUB Men's Basketball was on the road where they dropped two games to South Dakota School of Mines and Technology and to Black Hill State University. Then last Saturday, the women's team came away victorious as they beat Shatteron State College score there was 59 to 55. Uh, women's volleyball was on the road for two games. They were one and one. They lost their first match to Western Oregon University and then beat St. Martin's University before returning home. Uh, now that we've recapped, let's take a look at a special segment that we have for you this week. I was able to meet up with our very own student body president, Mr. Ryan Shore. We went around campus and uh, he was testing some of the students' jacket IQs as he asked them some questions. Let's take a quick look at that segment. Hi, I'm Ryan Shore. And I'm Jake Lettman. This is MSU Billing Sports Corner version of The, the Bee's Knees. Knees. Daniel, so we've got some big games coming up here on the 20th for men's and women's basketball. Okay, Could you tell me uh, who, who the men and women teams are playing this uh, this week? Rocky Mountain College. Rocky Mountain College for the men, and uh, the women are playing who? I'm not sure. Big exhibition game up at Montana State, the Brick Breeze Field House. Um, so last year, uh, Daniel, uh, the women walked away out of Montana State with a win. Uh, beating the Bobcats pretty soundly, and they came close to beating uh, the Lady Grizz this uh, earlier this year. So um, I'm going to have you kind of do some score predictions. What do you think uh, about the men's basketball game against Rocky coming into Alterowitz? Maybe a little bit more hostile environment. Uh, we, we dropped a game to them uh, a couple weeks ago, but what do you think about the score this time? You know, I think they're going to pull out a win. I'm thinking a uh, five-point win. It's going to come down to the fourth quarter. Five-point win, fourth quarter. Daniel Barnhart it here first. Uh, and then uh, the women's game up in the Brick Breeding Field House away from MSU Billings, but uh, still a pretty big game. What do you think? They're going to dominate. It's not even a game worth watching. They're going to be just <laughs> destroying them. Lady Jackets with a big win, and it is worth watching, so please tune in on the webcast to uh, see that or go up and support our Yellow Jackets here uh, if you have the chance in Bozeman. Uh, Connor, uh, first questions I'm going to ask you. Uh, we have two really big basketball games coming up, uh, one for the men's and one for the women's on November 20th on Wednesday. So uh, what I was wondering is could you tell me who they, they're playing uh, respectively? This, this the weekend? men are playing Rocky and the women got their MSU game coming up. Absolutely. You nailed it. There. That's so, right. So, Connor, uh, the first one to nail it there on uh, who they're playing this week. But, uh, Connor, give me some predictions. Uh, what do you think uh, the men's game is going to come down to? What's the final score? And the women's game as well. The men's, I mean, should be a hard-fought game between Rocky. I mean, cross-town rivals, there's going to be a lot of emotion. Absolutely. Probably going to come down to a buzzer beater. Cool. We can only hope. And final the score? The women's? Oh, for the final score? I'd say 72-70. Okay, so this time a low-scoring low, game. Low is this, game is this in favor of the Jackets? Yes. Uh, okay. I mean, I can't go against That's a that. Jackets win by Connor right here on MSU Billings That's Sports right. Corner. Uh, and then uh, for the women's game. The women's game, I mean, you got the bigger school MSU coming. But there's some pride that the women are going to try and fight for. I mean, they're going to put up a good fight. And I, I think they could edge out a win. Edge out a win, all I right. I think it's going to be close. Okay, Maybe there you a go. three, four-point victory. Low scoring, probably 50s, both teams, somewhere in the 50s. Well, they, put, they took the Grizz women uh, down to the limit here earlier this month at the uh, opening of the season, so it's very possible that that could happen, so I, I think I'll go in and put my hat in for a win, too, for the, the MSU Billings women. Devin, I'm going to ask you a couple questions here. Uh, number one, uh, about men's and women's basketball. Okay, so we got some big games coming up this week, in the middle of this week. Uh, November 20th, that's a Wednesday. Uh, we've got uh, our men's basketball game and our women's basketball games. Uh, could you tell me who the men and women are playing respectively this week? You know, I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, like I said, I'm more in the training room, so I've got a, a bigger <laughs> focus on just getting them ready to play the game. Uh, I don't typically find out who they're playing until the day before. Okay, so uh, to give you a heads up, 
the men are playing Rocky. Okay. Okay. And then uh, the women are traveling all the way to Bozeman at Brick Breeden Fieldhouse okay. to play MSU Bobcats. Okay. okay. Right. So that's coming up. Those are big games. Uh, what I'd like you to do for me is kind of tell me uh, what, what do you think the games are going to come down to and give me some final score predictions for both men's and women's. Huh. Well, the way the women, I'll start with the women's, I guess. The way they, the way they did with Missoula, I would expect them to do pretty decently. I know they had a tough week uh, last week down in California, but it sounds like they rebounded pretty good and they're ready for uh, this week's challenges that we may be faced with. And then as far as the men, um, I know they are uh, looking for some revenge, so I think they may uh, put it on those, or excuse me, Rocky this time. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as the men's, I think it's going to be a pretty tight game. I'm going to say, let's see, in the 70s, let's, just, let's say 70. Six to seventy. Okay, so a lower scoring game than last time the men's played. Yeah, each other. I think so. So what about the final score for women's? The women's game. No, I couldn't say. I think it's. I think that would be a, again a low scoring game. Okay. All as right. As long as we play some defense this time. Sounds good. Okay, we'll get the defense going up for the women's basketball team here. Uh, All right. Thanks to Ryan Shore for joining us this week to do that segment with us. I hope you guys enjoyed that. He'll be dropping by from time to time and we'll uh, be on the lookout to test your jacket IQ. Now let's move forward and take a look at this week in sports. It's a big week in sports as we have a lot of home games going on. Wednesday, the men's basketball team kicks off the week against crosstown rival Rocky Mountain College right here in Alterowitz Gymnasium at 7 p.m. Then the women's basketball team heads up to Montana State University there in Bozeman to take on the Bobcats big game for them as well. On Thursday, the women's volleyball team will be in Alterowitz at 7 p.m. and they will be taking on Alaska Anchorage. Then on Friday, we have a doubleheader for basketball and women's starting at 5.30 p.m. and they're taking on Great Falls University. And then after that, the men's basketball team will be taking on Montana State University Northern at 7.30 p.m. There's a couple of things going on that night. It's alumni night, so there's going to be 200 t-shirts there for the first 200 students that get there. And then there's a special performance at halftime of the men's game. So make sure to get down to Alterowitz Gymnasium for those couple games. Finishing up uh, for the weekend on Saturday, women's volleyball takes on Alaska Fairbanks at 7 p.m. And then on Monday, the uh, women's basketball team will play at Rocky Mountain College in Alterowitz Gymnasium at 7 p.m. So a lot going on. Make sure to get out to those games and support our Yellow Jackets athletics. Just want to say thanks for tuning in this week. Once again, I'm Jake Lettman. If you can't make it to a game, you can catch those games live on the MSUB Sports website. And you can also follow up there for more information on Yellow Jacket news. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good week.